yeah, just uh, me. It's my first time in the tournament, um, so I'm really excited. Uh, thought we had a, a, a great year, and I'm um, just looking forward to uh, continuing it in the tournament. Mark? Uh, yeah, just like both of them said, you know, it's an honor to be here. You know, we're cherishing every moment of it. You know, this is me and Solomon's last time here in this tournament, so we're just trying to make the best of it. Again, for all three guys, you had a nice representation of fans in Las Vegas last week. It stands to be the same here this week. How much are you guys able to play off of that? How important is that having the fan base here? Um, that's big time. Um, I think that's a big part of the program that Arizona brings to the table. Um, I think that's part of the tradition that we've had. Uh, and it's one of the reasons why I chose the University of Arizona, when you can have a turnout like we did in Las Vegas. Um, and, and I hope to see the same type of turnout uh, when we play here. Nick? Definitely. It's also uh, huge for us. Um, I mean, whenever we can have a, a home environment a, a, a away on the road, uh, it's, it always gives us an advantage. Mark? Uh, honestly, I just I feel like we personally as a team, we play better on the road. And, uh, when we only, only people we got is each other. But you know, our fans do a great job of traveling. And every time they come out and support us, it does give us an extra, extra boost of energy and things like that. Nick, your coach has been singing your praises defensively all year. Were you disappointed not to be included on the Pac-12 all-defensive team? Um, I mean, honestly, uh, I was a little bit, but I mean, maybe for about a minute. And, and then, I mean, I, we said uh, I had to get ready for our next game. So, I mean, that I, I would have loved to have been on it, but uh, I wasn't. So, I mean, I'm just trying to do something now. How, can you talk about this, the strides you've made defensively from last year? Where have you made the most and just how challenging is it each night to go against the opponent's best, uh, best offensive player? Um, just my focus. Um, I was a freshman last year, uh, as simple as that. Um, I mean, I'm one year older, one year wiser. Um, and I had the opportunity to watch uh, a lot of the older guys, um, how they approach their, their matchups and stuff like that. So just uh, my focus on it. Um, hi, fellas. Um, you guys start 14 and 0. You finish tied for second in the league. Second, uh, you make the semifinals of the of the conference tournament, and you're a sixth seed. Is that motivation? Is it disrespect? What are your, What are your thoughts on that? Um, well, I think uh, we got a, a a good seating as far as location. Um, I think when you look at both parts in hand, um, as far as our seed number, uh, it really doesn't matter at this point now who you play. Um, everybody in the field is are really good teams. Um, you look at what Cal has. Cal has a chance to play a game in San Jose. Uh, it's kind of like a home game. And it really doesn't matter who they play because every team is going to be good at this point. So you think about their fans really showing up for that game and really showing out. And we have a chance to really stay closer to Arizona um, and have our fans really show out. So I, I really think that we got um, a good deal with our seed. Sort of a follow-up to that question, some national perspectives have picked Belmont sort of as a, a trendy upset pick in this this second round. Is that something you guys see, look at, absorb, and in turn, do you use that as a motivating factor? Um, I don't think it's a motivator. Um, I think if you need anything to motivate you at this point, uh, you're here for the wrong reasons. Um, I think everybody on our team wants to win, regardless of the name on the opponent's jersey, uh, regardless of what the media is saying or, or the trendy thing going out. Um, I think we all dial in to more about what we're going to do on the court and not about the opponent. Um, I think we really stick to what we want to do defensively um, and really key in on some of the, the ways they score on offense. Um, I think we would have a good chance of, of really going out there and executing a defensive plan. I think it's, it's been a great season for us so far. You know, you can't win every game. We started out real hot, 14-0 and and things like that. You know, our conference is one of the best conferences in, in college basketball, if not the best. So, you know, we had our ups and downs, but, you know, we fall hard and, I feel like we're playing our best basketball right now. We got a bunch of guys who, who want to win. So, you know, our will to win right now is, is at a high level. And as long as it stays like that, we'll, we should be in this tournament for a while. And as a follow-up, the last time you were in Utah, I believe, um, coach made a lineup change and put Kevin in. Can you talk about that and, and how much of a difference that's made and just the seniors? Uh, you know, Kevin, he's, he's a senior. You know, coach felt like if – if we're going to go out I mean, in the season with a bang, we should have our seniors and guys who, who dedicated their time to this program and things like that in the starting lineup. You know, and ever since Kev's been starting, it's, it's been great for us. You know, he gives us an extra, extra boost off uh, in the starting lineup with his three-point abilities and, you know, his defense abilities and the way he hustles and his leadership. So, you know, him being the starting lineup just it benefits our team.